Imagine being forced into a bank robbery with a bomb locked around your neck. In 2003, the pizza bomber case shook Erie, Pennsylvania. Brian Wells, a pizza delivery man, was forced into a deadly bank heist. The chilling plot left everyone baffled. On August 28, 2003, Brian Wells, a pizza delivery man, walked into a PNC bank in Erie, Pennsylvania with a bomb locked around his neck. This was the dreadful genesis of the pizza bomber case, a story that shook the nation. Wells had started his day like any other delivering pizzas, until he delivered a pizza to an ominous address. This delivery turned his ordinary day into a nightmarish ordeal. With the bomb around his neck, Wells demanded a quarter of a million dollars at the bank but only received a fraction. After he left the bank and the bomb still around his neck, an intense standoff with police began. Then the bomb detonated, ending Wells's life instantly. Investigators later discovered a series of complex instructions, adding another twist to the case. As the investigation progressed, a web of accomplices emerged. However, questions arose about Wells' involvement. Was he a victim, forced into the heist, or a willing participant in the plot? The case took a turn when investigators discovered a complex scavenger hunt style list of instructions leading them to question. Was Brian Wells a victim or a participant in this heinous crime? As the chronology of events unfolded, the pizza bomber case would prove to be one of the most bizarre and perplexing crimes in recent memory. The pizza bomber case was a puzzle that took years for investigators to unravel. An intricate maze of deception and murder led to the arrests of Marjorie Deal Armstrong and Kenneth Barnes. Deal Armstrong, known for her volatile history, was considered the architect of the scheme. The involvement of Brian Wells was disputed, some viewing him as a victim, others as a collaborator. The trial was a spectacle, with Deal Armstrong constantly causing disruptions. Both she and Barnes were convicted. Deal Armstrong received a life sentence plus 30 years, Barnes got 45 years. The controversy surrounding Wells' role continues. Was he just an innocent caught in a deadly web, or a participant in a lethal game? The pizza bomber case remains one of the most bizarre and perplexing crimes in American history, a chilling reminder of how far some will go for greed and power. Despite the convictions, the pizza bomber case continues to intrigue true crime enthusiasts to this day. The case is laden with a complex plot, lingering queries, and varied theories. Was Brian Wells innocent or a participant? Debates on his role persist, fueling more probes. The case has influenced popular culture, inspiring documentaries and series, each providing unique insights, keeping conversation alive and inviting viewers to question the truth. It's a chilling tale of greed, manipulation and a deadly game of cat and mouse that ended in tragedy.